Hello everybody, I am the Valley Viking, and today I have just a talking vlog, um, an update of, uh, of what's going on with the family and, um, any new movies or anything that goes, that has been going on. It's been about two or three weeks since I've talked about my family and everything, so, um, First off, I want to say that uh, it's been a really busy three weeks between working and uh, coming home and um, filming and then editing and then voice acting on Smeal um, and then taking care of the babies. That like kind of fills up most of my day. But um, my oldest daughter has started to talk now um much more than she did before and she's talking in structured sentences so um that's really positive and i'm really happy about that um for the longest time she would just kind of piece words together or kind of babble um and now she she does babble but not as much as she used to now she's saying words, um, I want this, or, um, cheese, or milk, or just outside, just things that, you know, um, things that I really appreciate. Um, and then, of course, she loves to visit other people and talk with other people. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, she's growing so fast. Because <laughs> the feet wear headphones. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> not the mama. No, not the mama. She shares a blanket with my feet. <laughs> she loves feet. Hey. Is that right? What's she doing? 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 What you 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 doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then my youngest daughter, she's, she's able to sit up for short periods of time um and not only that she can now she chooses when she wants to scream or chooses when she wants to be herself you know um like i i keep telling everybody that uh that asks how she's doing like the one thing that she loves to do right now is when it's dead quiet and she can't take it anymore. She goes, ah! <laughs> that runs in my blood. I used to roll down windows and open doors. And just, just because I wanted to either say something really stupid loud or just scream at the top of my lungs. Ah! And then close the door. Funniest thing ever. She'll do that about three times and then um, she'll just start crying after that. So, um, I mean, she could be terrified. I don't know. Baby, 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 boo. Baby, baby, boo. Baby, baby, boo. Boo, 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 boo,
A jig, a jig, a jig, a jig, a jig, a jig, a jig. Is the baby? Hi, babies. Yeah. Hi, babies. Okay. Um. Other than that, I mean, it, it's been. Uh, <laughs> me and my wife have not really been able to see each other for the last three weeks, almost. Um. We didn't have shared days off. We had one shared day off, I should say, and that was every Sunday. And even then, we we like uh, it was like a family and friend thing. So uh, I tried to enjoy that as much as possible, and I still am. I mean, um, this week was was especially great because she uh, she had two days off with me. So I'm really happy that we got to spend time with each other. <laughs> there are. Goals and aspirations, I think, that um, both of us have. And um, for me, of course, I, I want to record and, and just have fun on, on YouTube or if I can share and um, maybe even, like, give knowledge out there. I, I hope I can one day um, to others. That would be really awesome if I could do that. Um, I really enjoy teaching. It's just a matter of what am I going to teach, you know? <laughs> but um, I, I know one thing for sure. I do like being on camera, and I love to voice act. Um, those are two things I do love doing, and that's all I've learned so far. Um, as for the movie, it's, it's, it's a nice aspiration uh and i'm trying to put as much thought and everything as i can into the movie so this way i can you know try to get the best result and if i like doing it then i'll make another one but i don't know we'll, we'll see um it may not be my niche <laughs> um my wife's aspirations on the other hand she wants more time to read and, and spend with God, you know, it'd be really nice to, to give that to her. Um, I know for the longest time she wanted to do ministry, uh, and it was something that I personally was afraid of. Um, and I, I never really, never really got into it. I, I, um, I guess I could have tried it, but I, I don't know, always was afraid. Um, oh. I also wanted to let you know there's a new flavor of bubbly out there. It's called lemon sorbet. Can't really see it. Uh, there we go. Lemon sorbet. Um, it is extremely. <sighs> I don't want to say good, but it has like a sweet for it being a bubbly. It's extremely sweet. Um, so it, it's got that lemon, <laughs> lemon zest, and then it's followed up by the sorbet. So it, it's a um, very interesting flavor. Not something I'm really keen on. <laughs> and those were our aspirations. Uh, that and like we love spending time together so it just any time that both of us get to spend time with one another that's it's a really good feeling um and it's a little crave that i know that, that she wants and something that i want um i enjoy my breaks if you want to call it that but i, I really enjoy our time together too um of course, I've been doing things like trying to get things done around the house, cleaning up weeds. My wife's mom and dad came over and helped us with uh, cleaning up the the, the house and um, taking care of the baby. So it was a really nice, not nice, it was extremely, um, I'm grateful for what they did. I'm very grateful. Um, the house looks or the, the outside of the house looks beautiful. Some things may be changing here soon. Um, 
I would like to keep on recording for three months because that's what I promised. Um, not only to you, but to myself. Um, my goal was to record for three solid months and um, no breaks. You know, I, I have to record a video every day and edit it and have it ready up and running. So this way everybody can see it. Um, that was the goal that I wanted to keep. So um, I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen. But I do have a lot of things that will be changing here in the next two weeks. Um, so I am really hoping... I'm hoping I can just keep doing what I'm doing, you know? I, I just know that uh, I don't want to fail. And I don't want to let anybody else down. And I, I guess the only person I can let down is myself. So, um, and I just need to give it my all. And that's all I can do, right? So, <clears throat> that all being said, um, I have some family that's probably going to be moving in with me. Um, and that's what's going to change uh, a lot of stuff. So um, we'll see. Maybe it'll be for the better. I, I couldn't tell you. So I'll, I'll keep, I try to keep positive. I'll, I'll try to keep positive for everything. <coughs> I have a fat dog. <laughs> And he sleeps a lot, and he moans and groans, and he's getting older in age. And, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of sad, because, I mean, he's not old yet. But there's things that you can notice that um, age is starting to creep up. You know what I mean? Uh, me and my wife used to say all the time, you know, he has this big old knob on his head. And... When he gets really old and all of the skin starts sagging, that knob is going to be the only thing that kind of sticks out. It's just going to be funny to see. Work has been kind of hard. Um, I can't say that it's been hard. It's a lot of just facing or like pulling things forward and making sure that they're nice and straight and ready to be shopped, you know, um, get occasional customers here and there. I had a, I walked to the doors today and it was five minutes within me clocking in, right? And I walked through the front doors and a man walks out the same front doors that I was walking into with a freaking laundry basket full of switches and he just walked out and everybody chased him and unfortunately he got away with it so um all bad it's something that i wish people wouldn't do you know i i just i don't know when, when things get stolen at stores, I think it just makes it harder on everybody. If it's something that others, other people want or need at their house, it's aggravating. That was the general update. Um, I do have a movie update and um, a series update. So... I do have, uh, <laughs> we watched a movie today that uh, Bubbly B swears <laughs> that we've seen before, but I've never seen it. It was called Blended, and it was a really great movie. Um, Adam Sandler plays a, a guy that has three kids, um, all girls. Um, his wife passes from cancer. Um and he goes on a blind date with Drew Barrymore again. And um, she has two boys. 
and um, they don't really want her dating. And uh, it was a really great, a great duo of of a cast. I had so much fun laughing at uh, all the jokes that they made. <laughs> My favorite jokes. My favorite joke in that whole thing was every time Drew Barrymore walked in on the boy sleeping, he had a big old grin on his face, and she would pick a, a, new, uh, a magazine with a girl's body on it, and then it would have his babysitter's face taped to the front. <laughs> It would just flash back to the kid smiling, and she'd go, ah. <laughs> So funny, so funny. That was great. Um, th there's a lot of funny movies, or a lot of funny moments that happen in that movie. The, the way they get together after the blind date, because the blind date goes horrendously, they uh they end up getting a cruise from their boss um not in the normal way if you want to know how it happens you'd have to watch the movie but um they get the cruise for their from their boss not a cruise they they get a vacation from their boss um and it's in africa but they get the vacation separately and when they show up they have to act like they're married so uh, it just makes for great comedy um really funny uh and then of course terry cruz plays in there and he does a fantastic job of just singing and making jokes i loved all the scenes with terry cruz i really recommend watching it it's called blended once again um and I hope that you enjoy that movie if you do plan on watching it. Mm. As for the series, we're watching Physical 100. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but if you haven't, it is a Korean show where they're trying to find the most perfect body. And um, so it's got a hundred people. They're all like they went to gyms and they like got sculpted and um they're either very strong or very athletic or um they're at the top of their their game um there's olympic medalists there's firefighters there's um bodybuilders uh cheerleaders and um it's just like a a whole bunch of different um people there to challenge each other to see who's got the best body uh and th the games that they they play are really like it's either strength or um athleticism based um we haven't finished the whole series but we are really enjoying what we've seen so uh definitely another recommended if you haven't seen it I recommend it. Yep. I um I wanted to break away from the questions um format because I I really enjoyed it was like a uh, what do you call it? it it was structured and it um like I I think I mentioned it before it really helped like keep the pace of the video going and then it uh it really it felt to me like it had a little bit of scripting in it right and it was a good uh, format to, to to play with and i enjoyed it for as long as i could and then i kind of got <laughs> i got frustrated with the fact i i asked questions and then like well one I, I spent like 10 minutes on one question or 20 minutes on one question and I had to find two other questions to fit in there. And um, I think it's a great format for explaining things. Not so much funny videos or scary videos or just talking wise. Uh, it's a great format for informative stuff and 
maybe even like life events kind of stuff. I, I think that's a great format. But uh, number two, the reason I stopped the <laughs> the format is the questions that I was asking whilst I did answer them, I, I didn't really get much responses back. So uh, I think I, I think I, I really enjoy it, but I'll wait till I get a larger community maybe. So this way um, I'll get more responses back on the questions that I pose. Uh, I think it'll be a lot better that way. I do want to do five things off a shelf again. I really enjoyed that a long time ago, and I really plan on doing that. I just uh, haven't found five things on a shelf that I've wanted to try yet. <laughs> and then, of course, snack tests are working really well. I I love when we do them, and it's uh, it's really fun for me. All right. Um, I do want to do some experiments, uh, science experiments, um, for videos. That would be really fun to do. Uh, I might do them with my daughters. I don't know if they're really going to enjoy it. Maybe they will. I don't know. I guess I'll have to try it out and see what happens. Um, if you have any suggestions on any videos that you would like to see or me trying to do any videos, um, drop them down in the comments below. I would really appreciate any any feedback, any suggestions, any anything at all. Um, I, I do have stuff that I, I want to do myself, of course, planned, but I would love anybody else to, throwing some some stuff out there too. I think this is where I'm going to end the video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you had fun um, watching it. And um, I will be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.